In the second day after Russia started invading Ukraine, the vice prime minister in charge of Ukraine's digital transformation wrote to Elon Musk on Twitter asking him to provide Ukraine with Starlink stations. Elon replied 12 hours later, Starlink service is now active in Ukraine, more terminals en route. Two days afterwards, the terminals were delivered as well. What is Starlink and why it became so important in this very unfortunate war situation? Hi, I'm Dan. Welcome to my channel Technology and Startups. Before we start, I want to acknowledge the tragic situation from Ukraine. I added a few links from organizations that you might consider donating to. Today we'll discuss about Starlink, the satellite internet constellation operated by SpaceX, Elon Musk's rocket company. SpaceX's mission is making humanity multiplanetary, and I'll probably do a separate episode on it, but until then, let's explore Starlink. Have you ever wondered how does the internet reach to your home? To oversimplify, the internet is a group of computers around the world that are interconnected. It's a network of networks linked by a broad array of electronic, wireless and optical technologies. Most of us are familiar with cable internet and 4G, which is basically a radio system connected to a cell tower, but there is also cell light internet, which connects a source transmitter and a receiver from different locations on Earth through a satellite. Those big communication satellites are in geostationary orbit at more than 35,000 kilometers from Earth, and they move together with Earth, so their relative positions remain the same to allow the antennas from the ground to be aimed permanently at them. One of the issues with geosatellites is the latency. In other words, the delay that you get because the signal has to travel such a long distance. That's where medium and low Earth orbit satellites come in. Starlink is one of these low Earth orbit satellite constellations located at around 500 kilometers, which is less than 2% the distance versus a geosatellite. Because of this small distance and the constant movement, they can only see and cover a smaller area on Earth. That's why they have to be organized in constellations to be able to communicate with each other so that the data transfer with the ground station is not lost. What's interesting is that the latest Starlink satellites are using an advanced laser technology to communicate between them much faster and therefore rely on even fewer ground stations. There are currently more than 2,000 Starlink satellites. Approval were issued for 12,000 in total, but the company has requested an additional 30,000, so we might not end up with 42,000 Starlink satellites. Currently, the company launches around 60 per each Falcon 9 flight, which is SpaceX reusable rocket. Launches are as often as every two weeks, and you can actually see them live on their YouTube channel. With this network, Starlink can provide high-speed, low-latency broadband internet across the globe. Users can expect to see download speeds up to 200 megabytes per second and latency as low as 20 milliseconds in most locations. All they need is this pizza-like antenna. This solves a huge problem. Almost 50% of people are not connected to the internet, and many of them because they live in rural or remote areas that don't have cable internet infrastructure. Moreover, Starlink is great for emergency situations in different disaster scenarios, including the unfortunate war in Ukraine. For example, Ukrainian government is now using Starlink in order to protect itself from being disconnected from the internet by the Russians. But Starlink is not just an amazing solution to bring high-speed internet in any location on the globe, but also a business opportunity to finance SpaceX, at least until they can charge for a Mars ticket. SpaceX has raised almost 8 billion in funding and it can reduce its dependency on external investors through Starlink. The satellite constellation business might generate $30 billion in yearly revenue by 2025, which would be a huge financial support for SpaceX mission to go to Mars. Starlink has recently launched their service in beta, is available in around 30 countries, and has already more than 250,000 customers with a standard subscription of $99 per month. Basically, Elon's using this internet subscription money to finance his Mars plans. Starlink does face some criticism, especially regarding two important topics, keeping the space clean and preserving the night sky. But as we can see from their website, they're actively working to solve both. Firstly, with so many satellites orbiting the Earth, there's always the risk of crashes and also challenges to reduce any potential space waste. SpaceX solves this through collision avoidance systems actively deorbiting the satellites at the end of their lifetime, and other advanced technologies focused on sustainability and safety. Secondly, astronomers are worried about light pollution and its impact on their sky observations. SpaceX is trying to solve this by darkening the satellites, making them invisible to the naked eye within a week of launch, and many other innovative solutions. 
I'm personally very excited about Starlink's potential to provide high-speed internet everywhere on Earth, and even more knowing that the money it generates is used to finance SpaceX mission of making humanity multiplanetary. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, don't forget to subscribe and leave your feedback. Thank you very much for watching.